A Winona woman has now been missing for two months. Businesses along East 3rd Street have signs on their windows with Madison Kinsbury's name and a brief description, including when and where she was last seen. One of the businesses is Red King Tattoo, where Kinsbury is a client. The tattoo shop has had signs outside its window since she went missing. Owner Zephyr Morrison says Kinsbury was scheduled for an appointment a few days ago. She says her disappearance is having an impact. It's really hard. We kind of take it personally because these people work with us and, you know, we help them commemorate their families and celebrate a lot of big things. So it can be really tough when they're not around. Morrison and her staff have been joining searches with the hopes of finding Kinsbury. Blue ribbons have also been placed around Winona and residents are putting blue lights on their homes. Three people are still unaccounted for at the site of a building collapse in Davenport. New photos and documents show that exterior work on the building began four days before the collapse and an engineer hired by the building's owner reported that parts of the brick front looked likely to fall at any moment. The son of one of the missing people have been standing by and sleeping outside the fences, believing his father is still within the rubble of the building. It's frustrating, but I don't know. I've been trying my hardest not to think about it so I don't break down and cry. Like, I've been trying to like push it to the back of my head and just think about nothing. The American Red Cross opened a shelter for people who were forced out of their apartments. The city says it's offering $6,000 to each displaced family. City authorities are struggling to figure out when and how to demolish the building. A century-old home is getting new life as Habitat for Humanity hands over the keys to its next new homeowner. Andrea Baum and her kids will be moving into this house on 6th Street in La Crosse at the end of the month. Habitat held a dedication ceremony. The house was built in the 1880s and Baum, along with volunteers, put in hundreds of hours of work into the house. For Baum, this home means having a permanent, safe place to stay for her and her family. I think once we move in, um, a part of me just is going to be more complete. There's always been that missing piece of not having a home to go home to or something that we've had in the family. So I'm really excited just to have that piece kind of like fulfilled and kind of go forward in the future for future generations in my home. All Habitat homeowners put in 350 sweat equity hours and take financial literacy and first time homeowner classes before purchasing the home from Habitat. The house has three bedrooms, a crafting room and a backyard for her kids to play in. West Salem is ready to celebrate a hallmark of Wisconsin, dairy. Enjoy food, music, and carnival games at West Salem's 53rd annual June Dairy Days Festival. The festival kicks off today at noon and will run through Sunday. For more information about the festival, go to news8000.com. We're just days away from pool season. Erickson Northside Community and Veterans Memorial Pool open up Saturday. The pools will be open until August. Admissions is $4 per person. And in Eau Claire, Fairfax Municipal Pool opens on Saturday. The pool is also open through August. Adults and youth admission is $5 a person. Kids two years and under get in free. I'm thinking about heading the pool this weekend. I mean, that's feeling nice out there, and we got good, good weather here for it as well. There is a slight chance of a drizzle here this morning, otherwise partly to mostly cloudy skies. The temperatures in the 70s through 9 and in the 80s here as we head into this afternoon. We're watching for a chance of showers and thunderstorms late this afternoon into early this evening. So as we head into your 8-day forecast, we go, we're looking at partly cloudy skies this weekend. Highs into the upper 80s, low 90s. A slight chance of a shower or storm possible on Monday, partly to mostly cloudy skies for the rest of next week. Highs into the 70s and low 80s, lows in the 50s and 60s. And by the way, that singer Menzel. So we just learned <laughs> we, she so plays So Derek and I were just saying how we don't know her, but she's the Frozen character. She's the Frozen character. Elsa character. And she was in Wicked, which I'm And she I'm was in Wicked, with. yeah. So I feel like a total dunce right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and apparently she sings a Let It Go song. There you go. Well, <laughs> now you know what Eric and I, Eric. You just called me Eric. Okay, that's it. I'm All right, we're leaving. <laughs> Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Don't forget to keep up with the news of the day. Gosh. At news8000.com, we'll have the latest updates to today's top stories on News 8 Now at noon. Have a great morning, everyone. Thank you for watching News 8. Ridiculous.